So you talk and all the time with leaders, Mexican policymakers, what are they telling you? Where are we on the NAFTA talks? Can we see a deal by this year? Yes, we can. We can see a deal, but it will depend on the political will from um, our good friends from, uh, from the U.S. Uh, administration. Uh, Mexico has been very proactive to the table with new ideas, and we're ready to have a deal, but it has to be the right deal. Are you saying right now that the demands, the U.S. demands, are the key that's holding back the NAFTA negotiations right now and achieving a deal right away? And what are they? That's totally right. There, there's been this uh, five or six toxic demands that uh, are unacceptable for uh, Mexico and for the Mexican private sector. Um, and those demands, like the sunset clause that has a sudden death to it, uh, seasonality uh, to limit exports on, on fresh products, uh, 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 trade remedies, uh, those are things that the Mexican private sector is not willing to accept and uh, those, those demands are still on the table and that's what's really holding this negotiation. So Moises, we hear from the U.S. side and for that matter from the Canadian and the Mexican as well that there's, there's hope, there's optimism. Have the U.S. Uh, negotiators moved at all? Have they opened the door at all to any degree of compromise on what you call the toxic demands? Uh, up to now, the toxic demands have not moved. Uh, we are still waiting for that. We had some hope that uh, on the ministerial meetings uh, that just got cancelled, uh, some advance could be taken, but there has not been uh, any sign of that. By the way, by, while that is happening, we have been advancing uh, really fast on other chapters that are really the modernization part of this agreement, and uh, that's something that is going to be gained from this uh, from these negotiations, and that's almost ready to go. So we do have a lot of work uh, uh, on the positive side ready to go.